Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be looking at a very exciting one. This is the Porsche 911 GT3 from last year. Uh, brand new casting from last year. And um, it debuted in this blue colour. Then it went to matte black. In my opinion, the blue colour is the better one. But uh, yeah, and I believe it's coming out in a red one this year as well. With like some golden rims. It does look nice, th this year's casting. So let's start off with the side of this car. We have some five star spoke rims on this, which are black and a nice detail. There's no trample her work, by the way, but there is wing mirrors, as you can see. Love to see that. And this car is now in the premium uh, speed machine set. Now, a little bit of backstory on this car. I did have to purchase two. The first one had a far too long axle. The wheel stuck out to about there, um, so it looked pretty hideous. So I did have to purchase another one, which was a replacement. And this one is that replacement. Anyways, moving along to the front, there is some nice details, but firstly, let's take a look at the headlights. These are not tampered. These are created using the window plastic. Now, a little bit of um, my opinions here. I love it when Hot Wheels do this because it allows them to add extra detail to the car without actually costing the company any extra. And actually, it costs less because they're not having to use metal. They just use plastic for these. They look great in my opinion, yet they still add that extra detail. Um, on these mainline cars. We do have some tampos. That tampo work is the badge and the two little vents which are found on the hood of the car. And um, the bottom plastic, so the base plastic, is used to create the lower vent system as you can see there as well. If I zoom in a little bit more you can probably see that in more detail. Okay so let's move along to the side of the car. Um, this is a very, very nice um, side, but we've already looked at it, so yeah, I think it looks better that way than that way. What do you guys think? I don't know about why that is, but I do. I, I do. Right, so looking at the rear, we have a lot of detail going on. Let's first of all talk about uh, not tampos, but the exhausts. They are portrayed there, again, using the base plastic, which is black. And it also has this diffuser, which is also using the base plastic. The rear of this car also is full of tampo work. Um, it has a real light bar, which is very accurate to the real life one, which also has Porsche written in it. Hopefully you can see that uh, there. It also has written just below it GT3, which is what this car is, of course. And on the license plate, we have 911 GT3. There are also some tampos for reflectors, as you can see if I move there and zoom in a lot because they're quite small detail. Uh, you can see just there those red li uh, like lines are supposed to be your reflectors, which honestly look pretty well done. As for the top of the car, there is actually details here. We have um, a black roof, which is tampo worked. Uh, so yep, that's all tampo. And um, really, really nice to see. It just kind of adds that contrast of colours and suits very nicely, especially with them um, black wheels and the black base plastic, which wrap around the car. The car also has got that spoiler, which the real-life model also has. It's very well done and very accurate to the real-life model. I can't fault that at all there. And this car is pretty, a really nice casting. Really, really great. And, uh, yeah, I th was it the best casting of last year? I think a lot of people would say so. In my opinion, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It, it might be my favourite new casting of last year, to be honest. Or the Pagani. The Pagani was a good one as well, uh, which is also in the Speed Machines. So, two of last year's new castings were in the Speed Machines. Um, so, that's awesome. But, anyways, let's give you my thoughts and opinions on this car firstly by giving it a score out of 10 so what do I give this car out of 10 this one is an absolute great car and in terms of the actual model and I think the color as well I'm gonna have to give this a 10 out of 10 I think it's a really really awesome one and if you don't have this one in your collection I highly recommend you get it there's a red one which I think looks perhaps even better than the blue one and my least favourite is the matte black, but that's really unpopular opinion. I think most people prefer that colour. But yeah, that's really it for this car. I'm really happy with this one. I think it's a great one that Hot Wheels have done. One of the better ones that they've ever done. And yeah, um, 
that's it for this video if you enjoyed like if you're new subscribe and if you fun if you really want to you've got some friends or family that watch this type of stuff you can share it around anyways that is it for this video see you guys in the next one goodbye everyone